Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tia 1 channel. As the buzz around the Flux model continues to grow, Tensor Art is in full swing with their Flux events. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Flux to create a text-to-video workflow, turning this supercar into an animated masterpiece. So let's dive in! First, let's open Comfy UI in Tensor Art and start by creating a blank workflow. Next, double-click with your left mouse button to search for load checkpoint and add it to the canvas. Next, drag a purple line from the model output node of load checkpoint and connect it to the model input node on sampler. After that, drag out to text and code nodes, one for the prompt and one for the negative prompt. Follow along with me to connect the input and output nodes correctly. Don't forget to connect a flux guidance node between the sampler and the prompt. Next, connect the output of the bottom text and code node to the negative input on the case sampler. Let's go ahead and add an SVD styler node to the canvas. Next, we'll turn the text areas of both text and code nodes into input points. Then, connect these two inputs to the corresponding outputs on the SVD styler. Now, we need to connect the VD code tiled node to the output of the case sampler. Next, connect the V input on the VD code tiled node to the output of the load V node. Then, make sure to select the appropriate V model based on your needs. To ensure high quality output, we can add an HD upscaling process. The nodes we'll use are Load Upscale Model, Upscale Image Using Model, and Upscale Image By. Follow along as we connect these nodes and select the appropriate upscaling model. Alright, the workflow that supports the Flux model is now pretty much set up and ready to go. Alright, we're all set to generate the image. You can now enter your prompt. I'm using Supercar Driving on the road as my prompt. Next, let's select the Flux model in the Load Checkpoint node to generate the image. Oops, I forgot to add the Empty Latent Image node. This node is crucial for adjusting the image size and the number of generated images. Well, our supercar image is ready. The next step is to bring this supercar to life and make it move. First, we need to change the Save Image node to Preview Image. Next, double-click with your left mouse button to search for Image Only Checkpoint Loader and add it to the canvas. Then, drag a purple line from the Model Output and connect it to the Video Linear CFG Guidance node. Next, connect the output from the Guidance node to the input on the sampler. Next, we'll add the Crucial SVD image to Video Conditioning node. Follow along with my tutorial to make the connections, but make sure to connect the image input to the final image output of the workflow we set up earlier. After that, connect the VD code node to the output of the sampler. Finally, connect the output to the input of the Animate Diff Combine node. Make sure to connect the two V nodes together. Don't forget to connect the image input on the SVD image to video conditioning node to the final image output of the workflow we set up earlier. Then, select the SVD model in the image only checkpoint loader. This model is well suited for generating video. The results are in. Let's take a look at both the still image and the animation. You'll see that the animation is generated based on the still image. That wraps up our tutorial on creating AI tools with Flux. If you've picked it up, go ahead and create or customize your own projects and join our ongoing event for a chance to win some great prizes. If you're still getting the hang of it, no worries. The creators at td &M have released a text to video AI tool on TensorArt. If you're interested, feel free to give it a try. Everyone gets a free chance to experience it every day. Next up, I want to introduce you to another AI tool based on the Flux model, the One-Click Comic Generator by Singwim. Since it's built on the Flux model, the text generation accuracy is super high. In my next video, I'll show you how to use this AI tool on Tensor to create four-panel comics. Stay tuned, and I'll see you then. Bye!